so Tony Paul, we're going to see how how good you are with uh, total solar eclipse trivia. Okay, Ooh, are, are you, you ready? ready? I'm ready. I'm okay. ready. Okay, <laughs> y'all ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, number one, what is the name of the moon's dark inner shadow during totality? I think it is called the so the outer shadow where you see the partial clips. I think that's the penumbra. Correct. So the inner part is the umbra. You got Ooh, that yeah, correct. correct. Yes, okay. Tony. You want Alrighty. to take number two? All right, right. All right. The next one. When was the last total solar eclipse in the United States? In the United States, that was in 2017. Good. I think yeah. it was through Idaho oh, and Montana. Yeah. That's right. 2017. Yeah. All right. Okay. Number three. When is the next total solar eclipse in the United States? Okay, so I think there's two different answers to this question. We're talking about the continental United continental. States. Continental. Yeah, continental. That's 2044, but Correct. actually Alaska, 2033, if you oh, want to go Oh, so there. sooner yeah. in Alaska. Correct. Number Amazing. four. Okay, what is the maximum length of totality for the, for the solar eclipse this time? This time? I don't know if I know the exact number. I know it's close to four minutes. I would say a few seconds after four minutes, depending on where you are. Uh, so maybe in the U.S. So Mexico, uh, okay, NASA's okay. Mexico, yeah. Uh, four minutes, 28 seconds. Right, That'll right. be the maximum wow. length of totality awesome. uh, for this eclipse. All right, Tony. When is the next total solar eclipse here in North Texas? I know that one is going to be in 2317, yeah, I believe. Yeah, you're good. Hey, you're real <laughs> studied up, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, when was the last total solar eclipse over Dallas? 1876, I think. Close. So long, oh, oh, 1867. 1878. Oh, so close. 1870. So close. I'll say I owe so many numbers, right? <laughs> so on average, it's kind of a tricky one. On average, how frequent is a total solar eclipse in any one place. Oh, that's a tough one. I would say close to once every, total solar eclipse? Yes. Once every two years, about. So approximately. Every 375 for years. For one place. Oh, in from one place. One oh, yeah. place. Yeah, close to 300. Yeah. Sorry, but I thought you meant right, somewhere though. in the Earth. It's one, once yeah, every two years. But once, <laughs> yeah, around the world. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, so you were all right. right. This was, it was just uh, phrased a little differently. Okay, this one's fun. Right. What is the scientific term for the alignment of celestial bodies during an eclipse? Mm, that's a great question. I don't know if I know this one. So if anyone knows this at home, you're, you know more than astronomer. That's what I'll say. <laughs> oh, okay. Here, it's coming up for you. Maybe you can pronounce it for us. I think the syzygy. I, I have heard that term, but yeah, I, I, I guess I didn't remember. Syzygy, I think, is what it is. Okay, I didn't know how to pronounce it. That's okay. why I was hoping you right. would say it for us. <laughs> See, I would have said syzygy, but what do I know? <laughs> okay, so number nine, a person, which I believe you've already answered this, a person right. experiencing a partial eclipse is standing in the shadow of what? That's the penumbra. So that's way bigger than the umbra. So, so here's a real good question. I don't know if you'll know the answer to this. If okay. you do, wow, you get a big prize. All right. Okay, which two states will get four total solar eclipses this century? This century. So I know the one in 2044 goes through Florida, I think. So I'll guess Florida, but I'm not sure. Okay, the two states are actually Texas and okay. Georgia. Close. Close yeah, so to Texas is a good place to be for eclipses <laughs> awesome. this century. <laughs> well, thank you so much for playing thank along. You. Thank, thank you. you so much for joining us. Of course. I, I hope you enjoy uh, the eclipse, the totality that is happening uh, now in 20 minutes. That's awesome. right, and we have a live picture right now. This is happening right now, Tony, in Mexico. Wow, it is dark. Wow. Wow. Okay, so you see totality there on the right-hand side, but on the left-hand side, you see how dark it is. Uh, and that's, uh, is, I believe that's Mazatlan is where the Yeah, the Mazatlan. And I can only imagine what is happening there with the, with the animals like we talked about, with the plants, uh, uh, the people there um, taking this in right now. And I know for one, as tempting as it is to grab your cell phone and want to take selfies at this moment, I'm not going to do it. Oh, that's going to be tough for me, Cynthia. <laughs> I just want to feel it totally, and I, I can only imagine that the memory will be just sealed forever. So who Absolutely. needs a picture of it? Yeah, and, and yeah, like, like we were mentioning, just uh, life-changing, right? Uh, okay, so Ennis has been a hot spot uh, today because they have actually seen a lot of clear skies. And Ennis, Texas, one of the places with the longest amount of time in totality with four minutes and 24 seconds. Uh, Paige McCoy Smith is out there. Uh, so uh, we're going to check in with her. But man, those images out of Mexico are just incredible. It looks so dark there. Yeah, it's so dark. And uh, just looking at the, the, 
just yeah, the yeah. total yeah. darkness and it's it's I can't wait for it to happen here which yeah. we're not far 